Hello all you book nerds, Gene Book Nerds. Uh, I'm DJ McHale and I'm here to tell you about my new book series this publishing called The Library. First book is called The Curse of the Boggan. And there, there's actually no reason why I'm recording this uh, up in the mountains like this other than the fact that it's pretty and, uh, and I'm here. Um, uh, though actually there is kind of a reason that I'm doing it here. Uh, I, I write a lot up in the mountains and for whatever reason it seems like I'm really inspired up here quite a bit. I don't know if it's because there's some kind of weird spiritual thing going on in these mountains or just that there's absolutely nothing to do other than write when I'm up here, but the, that's not entirely true. My family and I, we, uh, we're up here a lot and we backpack and we, we camp and we hike and whatnot. And um, my 13 year old daughter mostly likes to hike. Uh, and inevitably what'll happen is we'll be hiking along in some incredible Sierra type trail with beautiful vistas and she'll get bored and so what she'll often do now what she always does is she'll say daddy tell me a ghost story and being the good dad that I am I usually answer with oh come on I don't want I'm off duty I don't want to have to think about stuff like that and she'll fight me and I'll resist and then, and then I'll come up with a couple of ghost stories to tell her uh, and this happens again and again and again and it was on one of those hikes that I realized, you know, I've got a million of these stories. Maybe I should write one for real. But I couldn't decide which one to write. Now, I like to write ghost stories. I like writing supernatural stories. And uh, I used to do a TV show called Are You Afraid of the Dark? Where we did all sorts of kind of different ghost stories and supernatural stories. And with that TV series, I came up with a really good device to be able to tell different kinds of stories all within the same series. In that case, that was about kids who sat around a campfire telling supernatural stories. And it would be a different kid every week, and we they'd start a story, and then we'd leave, and we'd see the story play out with the ghost or the mummy or whatever it happens to be. Um, so it was a really great mechanism to tell different types of stories all within the same kind of uh, context. So I thought, is there a literary equivalent of that? What could I do with my books? I didn't want to write just one story. I want to write a lot of stories. So rather than write a book of short stories, I'm like, what, what could I do? What's the situation that, from a literary point of view, can you find a bunch of different kinds of supernatural stories? And what better place than that is a library. So I came up with this idea, and I called it the library. We tried to come up with other ideas, like the scary library or the spooky library, but none of those worked. They all were a little bit too much on the nose. So the concept is, is that there is this mysterious supernatural library filled with supernatural stories that are unfinished. And it's up to our characters, there are three characters in this series, Marcus, Theo, and Lou, Lou is a girl, that they go into this library, they find one of these unfinished stories, and they're all going to be different. A lot of ghost stories, there could be witches, there could be vampire, whatever it happens to be, they go into these stories and complete the stories. Then the book can go off of the unfinished shelf and go on to the finished shelf. And so it gives me the opportunity to write all kinds of different stories. The first one is called The Curse of the Boggan. And when these books all come out, they can be read out of order. It's an anthology. The Curse of the Boggan is the first book and should be read first because it's the setup. It's the story that kind of sets up the library and the kids and we learn about the kids. So that book really should be read first. But after that, it's going to be all over the place. Now, the book publishes on September the 6th. You may be seeing this today. Um, thank you, Gene, for having me on your website. Now, Gene is also going to be doing a, a book blog, and we're going to be doing it around Halloween. How perfect is that? And there are going to be prizes. There'll be a, a top prizes, a Skype with me. But there will also be signed books and signed bookmarks and all kinds of stuff. So I'll be looking for that around Halloween. Now, with Gene, I just found out she just had 17 million hits on her on her site. How crazy is that? And that's thanks to guys like you. And and you may be the 17 million and one hit on this website. Which raises the question, why are you looking at this website? You shouldn't be on your computer or your phone. Put it down, turn off the computer, and go and get a copy of Curse of the Boggan, of which I don't have a copy with me because I'm in the mountains. But look it up. Uh, I'm going to be going on tour as well. So go to my website, djmichaelbooks.com, and you can see a list of all the public appearances I'm going to be making. Um, uh, or, or follow me on Twitter or Facebook, and I always list where I'm going to be and all that kind of stuff. Uh, thank you, Gene. Congratulations on the 17 million hits. And come back to, the, to, the, uh, to her site, 
uh, around Halloween. We'll be doing a book blog. And until then, uh, happy haunting.